Sometimes, even a slight change in the dome geometry of a tweeter can lead to noticeable benefits. For example, M-Profile or inverted dome tweeters can alter certain specifications of the driver. However, this doesn't mean you can simply flip a dome tweeter and expect better sound. Modifying a tweeter's geometry requires precise tools and careful design. One of the key tools for this process is simulation software, which allows us to predict the behavior of different dome shapes before building them. Hi, and welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll explore whether an inverted dome tweeter offers a better directivity pattern compared to a conventional dome design. I came across the specifications of a car audio tweeter. While it's designed for car applications, the principles of directivity control through geometric changes still apply. We'll compare an inverted dome with a non-inverted dome, assuming both are made from the same material. The first step, as usual, is to create the dome profile. After importing the TD model into the FineCone software, we select beryllium as the default dome material. You can modify the TD cone model using a lightweight software like a B viewer. The frequency response at 90 degrees shows a noticeable drop starting above 10,000 Hz. When we invert the dome, we can expect an even greater reduction at off-axis angles. This is the dispersion pattern, or directivity graph, which shows how sound pressure varies with angle. Next, let's try an M-Profile tweeter. It's worth noting that one of the goals of combining this design with a specific surround structure is to reduce distortion. However, in this video, we'll only focus on its directivity pattern. Lower distortion is usually related to the motor structure, and unfortunately, the current simulation software doesn't provide any insight into that aspect. According to the manufacturer, this type of tweeter delivers significantly higher sound pressure levels while maintaining lower distortion compared to a conventional dome design. Let's compare it with the conventional dome. The sound reduction at 90 degrees is reduced for an inverted dome. Inverting the dome affects the frequencies beyond 10,000 Hz. It's more accurate to say that directivity is higher at frequencies closer to 20 kHz. Overall, though, both models still show a relatively wide dispersion pattern across most of the frequency range. Thanks for watching.